Alrighty, y'all. I hope you're having an excellent day. We're looking at the Unimog again, baby. Yeah, the Unimog and the Fire Brigade. And uh, this is like an old Daimler Benz like promotional film or advertising film, kind of showing the features and what it can do. Uh, and I think this is old, maybe from the 70s or the 80s. I'm super stoked. I like retro stuff. And then, of course, anything with the almighty Unamog, I love. So uh, let's take a look. Oh, and this is from a channel called Unamog Community. Be linked in the description down below. Please check them out. Excellent channel for this kind of stuff. Here we go. Reiches Konzept, dass die speziellen Anforderungen der Feuerwehr hinsichtlich An- und Aufbauten erfüllt und ein leistungsfähiges Motor-, Getriebe- und Antriebsprogramm hat. So ist der Unimog in vielen Ländern Look at that plow and snow, like a beast. Aufgrund seiner konzeptionellen I need that unersetzt. at my house. <laughs> Österreich, Ebene Reichenau. Ein Tanklöschfahrzeug mit integrierter Hydraulikanlage sowie einem schnell wechselbaren Schnee. Wow. So kann der that is a big plow, by the way. And that is pushing lots Gemeinde and lots of snow. And if you don't know, snow is really heavy. Während der Fahrt zuschaltbaren Differentialsperren vorne und yeah, hinten drive, ist dies eine professionelle, abgestimmte Einheit, die auch bei großen older model. eine sichere Spurhaltung ermöglicht. What a beast. Like the ultimate workhorse, man. I'm telling you what. By the way, this is in German, if you didn't already know that, with English subtitles for those that uh, are interested. What a work truck, huh? Eine interessante Lösung für Schnellangriffe im extremen Wintereinsatz. Jeez. Oh, this is in Austria. Look at that thing. <laughs> now that is a good looking truck. Come on. In the bright red. Got all the gear on it. The lights and sirens Mannschaftskabine 1 plus and chains on the tires too. What a beast. Seine kompakten Abmessungen, der niedrigen Durchfahrtshöhe und seine Wendigkeit aus. I was surprised it fit through that. I was going to say in the tight streets and narrow streets uh, in certain places in Europe, I'm sure <laughs> it is not the easiest vehicle to drive around, but it's still big while, you know, being somewhat compact. Beautiful mountains there, by the way. Is this Austria still? Wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. Similar aesthetic to um, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I love that place here in the States. By Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Park. Props to all emergency service workers and firefighters around the world. I mean, it's a very important job, very tough job. Uh, but I tell you what, that's a perk of the job, too. Driving a driving an Unamog as a work truck, that'd be pretty fun. <laughs> By the way, this is a really long video. It uh, looks really fun, so I'm only going to be skipping around a couple parts. As I said, it'll be linked down below if you want to watch the whole thing. Uh, it's a good one. Dude, these things are literally everywhere. Look at them. Airports, railroads, <laughs> emergency services. It's just crazy, man. Der Unimog als TLF und als Rüstwagen. Er bietet neben dem bequemen Einstieg hinter der Vorderachse ein Truppfahrerhaus 1 plus 2, eine gute Übersicht der Bedienungselemente, die Schaltklassenanzeige yeah. sowie gut zugängliche Gerätschaft. Those are good looking die trucks, man. Die Fahrzeuge erfüllen die Schweizer Forderung nach 20 PS pro Tonne zulässigem Gesamtgewicht. <lacht> There they go. It always is fun to hear. Uh, I want to do more videos on just like emergency vehicles and stuff uh, in different countries. I, I think it's very fun to hear the different sirens, siren like sounds and cadences, right? Obviously, that's way different sound than like the sirens I hear in uh, you know the U.S. So yeah, that's always kind of fun, right? Bekanntlich sind Oof, we got a we got a car fire. Is that a Ferrari logo? <laughs> what? That wasn't Ferrari, was it? Besonders zum Durchführen eines Schnellangriffes geeignet, während Rüstwagen Tweety Bird on the hood. What is going on here? 
Der Unimog erweist sich auch hier als fester Bestand. I mean, Ferraris do catch fire, though, don't they? Bei jeder Feuerwehr. Vor allem und gerade dann, wenn es um die Rettung von Menschen geht. Look at all the attachments on this, this Unimog. Oh, they got Jaws alive. Yikes. See, this is a crazy job, man. Thank goodness for people that have the courage, the knowledge, the awareness to do this, man. To save lives out there. Yikes. Bundesrepublik Deutschland, Stuttgart. Okay, now we're in Stuttgart. Germany. Der U-1250 RW Schiene dient der Stuttgarter Feuerwehr als Rüstwagen besonderer Art. So this is used all throughout Europe in many different, different fire departments and countries. Ah, yes way. <laughs> there it is. Oh, how freaking cool, man. I still can't get over how wild that is. The Unamog rabbit hole has been very, very fun to dive down into, I tell you what. Look at that. That is so wild. Ooh, there's some big ones. Oh, look at that seating. What? At Asian and African countries. Look at it crawling the rocks. Rock crawling on the way. Hell yeah, that's what I'm about right there. Deutlich erkennbar die Vorzüge des Unimog mit seinen With two guys in the back. vorne und hinten, der großen Bodenfreiheit durch Portalachsen. Again, that's harder than it looks. Und dem großen Everybody, this thing is really capable. <laughs> wow, that is so satisfying to watch. Look at those guys, hey, going for a ride. Hold on. <laughs> Der UL50L ist in dieser Version Ooh, ein that's a big fire. wendiges, hochgeländegängiges Tanklöschfahrzeug mit einem Wasservorrat von 2000 Litern. Die Pumpe ist als Hoch- und Niederdruckpumpe einsetzbar bei einer Leistung von 1800 Litern pro Minute bei 8 Bar bzw. bei 40 Bar. Southern France, okay. Look at these, I like these. This is a cool spec right here. Got the guards up front. These look really tough. Utilitarian, yeah. Wow, that's southern France. That's very uh, scenic, yeah. Die Probleme bei der Brandbekämpfung liegen primär in der Größe der betroffenen Fläche, des Bestandes, der Topographie und der Wasserressourcen begründet. Wow, it's almost like um not straight up desert, but kind of like semi-arid looking, yeah? With the terrain, kind of the dry brush and the dry gravel they're driving through. So much to learn, I have so much to learn about most of Europe. Look at that fleet of Unimogs, man. How freaking cool does it get? Driving through brush, driving up hills. Größtmögliche Kapazität an Löschmittel, entsprechende Transportkapazität für Mannschaften und weitestgehende operative Autonomie mit Selbstbergungs- und Selbstschutzmöglichkeiten. Oh man! Um Hubschrauber zur Waldbrandbekämpfung in der Nähe And it refuels helicopters. Können, dient hier der Unimog als <laughs> Why not, right? 3000 Liter Kerosin This thing does it all. Vor Ort ins I'm werden. telling you, the Unimog is the vehicle that is the jack of all trades. Der Tankaufbau ist als Wechselsystem konzipiert. 
That is freaking crazy, man. Love it. Look at that thing. Yeah. Getting some speed out there, man. That's what I need to see. I love rally racing, right? I've come to love it, discover it, and fascinated by it. I need to see some, some Udemag rallies. <laughs> That's what's up. Sondern macht das Fahrzeug auch sehr gut zugänglich für die Entnahme von Geräten. Der Unimog als Waldbrand-Tanklöschfahrzeug mit 2500 Litern Wasser und einer leistungsstarken Pumpe mit bis zu 1000 Litern Förderleistung pro Minute bei 15 Bar stellt im Waldbrand eine äußerst schlagkräftige Einheit dar. Wow. Oh, here we go, some deep off-roading in the forest. Yeah, look at that thing. Gesamtgewicht ist von 12 Tonnen, ist diese spezielle 12 Tonnen. Oh my god. That, that, the fact that it's capable off-road and all these trains and being heavy because you know, typically I've learned when I used to go off-roading a lot, that's actually how this channel started. So I had a really heavy uh, Ram 2500 power wagon. Now it was great off road and it was an off road truck. That's what they made it for. Uh, but it was very heavy. I got it weighed and it was eight, it was over 8,000 pounds, really heavy truck. And when I would go off roading with some like Jeep friends, they all had Jeep Wranglers, you know, the Jeeps were, are just li literally half the weight <laughs> of my truck. And that was totally an advantage, right? They took up less space and they were so light and they could get up so many different obstacles and up rocks and through mud pretty easily because they're so light. So this Unamog is very heavy, obviously, but it seems to be very capable. So that's why I love it. Setzen Feuerwehrleute oft genug ihr Leben aufs Spiel. Es ist deshalb nur selbstverständlich, wenn ihnen für diese schwierige Aufgabe auch das beste Fahrzeug zur Verfügung steht. Eben der Unimog, der Erfolg einer Idee. Awesome, awesome stuff. Another round of applause for the Mercedes Unamog. What a beast of a truck. Uh, I absolutely love these guys. I think you know this by now. I will be dropping the playlist later today on the channel, so I'll have a playlist of these. All ears for suggestions. Uh, I got some competitors to this I still want to look at. We got more to look at from Tatra. Starts with a P, I think. Um, there's another yeah, competitor to this I want to look at, so a lot more fun coming up, guys. Leave your thoughts down below. Do you like these old adverts like this? I think they're kind of fun, right? And then, of course, do you still see these in use today for fire brigade vehicles? I would love to hear your experiences down below. Please throw a like on there if you enjoyed this and subscribe to be part of this amazing community. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, y'all. I'll catch you later.